What's up, everyone? The Chicago Sports Talk, Michael, CEO. You want to know what this is? You're going to learn to acknowledge me. Hey, 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 hey. If this was three years ago, I might have been hesitant and calling out CEO on these videos, but I don't see this CEO tough guy persona anymore. What I see is a broken down old man, and he still continues to trash the Bears. I don't know why, but I think I got the whole problem. I got the root of his problem, and it's his ego. Your eagle plays you like a fiddle. Your eagle's going to run you into the ground, CEO. And I'm going to help help it for sure. Let me tell you something. You can say that you, oh, I'm going to spare you. Don't push me. He said, don't push me. Precision number one, I could get to push. It's like the same thing, CEO. Be like, oh, I could roast you if I wanted to. Yeah, okay. We we That was not funny the first time you said it. It's still not funny. Like I said, you're broken down. Just like your Ravens. Just like your Baltimore Ravens have been the past two seasons. And I don't get why you say that. Oh, the page, the not the, the Ravens are a championship caliber team. Like, how are the Ravens championship caliber team when in the past two seasons you missed the playoffs and you barely made it the um, the second year and you got bounced out by the Bengals. So I don't get it. I don't get it. Championship contend, championship caliber team. My ass. I could sit here and tell you that the Bears, like you could call me a delusional, you could call me a homer, but I know my Bears are not championship caliber yet. Like I said, the problem is your ego. It's just like, we all know that you were at the bottom of this community. You're down there with everybody else. So, and that's the problem. Your ego. Your fucking ego. That is the reality. That is the facts. But that's not the point. The point is that, oh, you can sit there and be like, oh, Michael going to owe me $200. But you haven't considered that there's a chance that you could lose that bet. Knowing that Lamar Jackson doesn't have a good history of being healthy, so does Odell Beckham. Bet you didn't, bet you uh, forgot about that, CEO. You just think just because you got rid of Greg Roman, it's going to solve all your problems? I promise you this, though, CEO. In 10 years, if Lamar Jackson is still still in the league, because we all know he may not even last long in this league, I promise you, in 10-year top, Justin Fields will be a far better quarterback than Lamar Jackson will ever be. I promise you. I promise you that Justin Fields will be far better in the 10-year gap than Lamar Jackson will be. Like I said... 
you could sit there and say that, oh, you're, I don't, the reason why I don't go off on you because, you know, you're mentally retarded. Like I said, CEO, that's how proven that you are broken down. You are just like a broken shell. Three years ago, you are more as prime butters making retarded takes that don't even make any sense. So, you are looking at Mount Everest right now. I am Mount Everest. And this is not about having a better record than your team. It's not all about that. It's about my team retaking the North. And making a stance in this league once again. Now you could sit there and say that you hold back, but you don't hold back for shit. Fuck you and fuck your ego. Now, you're going to learn to acknowledge the Chicago Bears as greatness will grow upon you. Matt, you're not Adam Rank. You're more, because I, I, I think I came to realize who is the most dumbest reporter or analyst, not really reporter, but analyst, like show reporter, like I think you're more like Colin Cower. Yeah, you're more like Colin Cower in my opinion. Like father, like son, I guess. So CEO, this is over when I say it's over. So that's it. That's all. Hey CEO, bye bye, bitch. <laughs>